They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. of Juno, and you are. Oh, man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here, or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <clears throat> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to Mama! Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, who could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight.
deal with that. About damn time! Yo, yeah. I'm counting I'll on you! Ah, here he comes! <laughs> Let's do this.
anyone hurt you? Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. Okay, later! I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah! Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything! Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Avalanche by day, traveling Mercs by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. Feel like we should probably rope this place off. Don't want anyone else wandering inside and making trouble. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. Avalanche by day, traveling marks by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all.
So, need a lift somewhere? and catch your eye. What were you thinking, sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Staff a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn-ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. Do you think it's gonna be a little boy or a little girl? <laughs> 
I bet you can't wait to find out either, can you, Sam? You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. Brittle houses in the sea air. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Isn't Priscilla just a coil? Guess there's some kind of... Do you need something delivered? Would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just cause I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. All right, back in the water you go. Perfect. Now it's time to reel you in. Goodness me, this makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young.
Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Oh, looks like I've got myself a real lunker. <sighs> All right, back in the water you go. Show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. The problem is. How are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then... Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now, we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great, just let me know when you're ready to go. Just let me know, okay? Hope the crow's nest folks don't try anything stupid. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Deeper. I tried 
to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. To it? Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <coughs> hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit! <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit! 